Real quick before the video starts, this is a new channel and please subscribe to help out the channel so that I can make more content just like this. All right guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make an object grow over time. So here's an example. I used a flower and as you can see, the flower is growing for an amount of time and then it stops as soon as it hits its max size. So let's jump right into it. All right, so I'm going to go to my flower. I'm going to make a new script and I'm going to call it flower growth or you could call it whatever you want to. I'm going to create an ad. All right, now that it's opened, we are not going to be using the update method. So let's just go ahead and delete that. I'm going to get rid of this comment here. I know what a start method is. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with a few variables. So I'm just going to make that real quick. First variable that we need is a timer. This is going to be a timer to scale your object. And we're going to make it a public float. I'm going to call it timer because this is our timer. And we're going to equal that as 0f, f because it is a float. And then we're going to need another variable. It's going to be another public float. And this is going to be basically how long you want it to take to grow to full size. So I'm just going to call this grow time. I'm going to equal that to maybe six seconds. Next, I'll just make a public float again, and this is going to be its max size. So the maximum size that you want your object to grow to. I'm going to equal that to two. And then now I'm going to make a Boolean and I'm going to call it is max size. And we're going to equal that to false because it starts growing as soon as it starts. Okay, now the next thing is we're going to make a method that makes the object grow. So I'm going to make a private I enumerator, enumerator and I'm going to call it grow because this just makes the object grow. And I'm not going to go into too much detail of what an enumerator does. But the first thing we're going to want to do here is make a couple of vectors. One vector that tells us what our current size is and another vector that says what we want our max size to be. So I'm going to make a vector two. I'm going to call this start size. I'm going to equal that to transform dot local scale. Basically what this does is goes into our transform component and it gets our local scale, the current scale of the object. Now I'm going to make another vector too and I'm going to call this max size. And we're going to equal that to a new vector two. And this is the size that we want to grow to. So for this, we're going to pass in our max size float up here. And actually, I should change this to scale because it's the same as my float over here. Okay, so now I'm just going to pass in max size for the X and max size for the Y. And now we don't need a third one because it's a vector too. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make a do statement that says do and it's going to do something while we need to put a while statement right here. So we're going to cover this in a moment, but we need to put in what we want to do. So what we want to do is we want to grow the object. We want to make our timer increment timer. And then we'll just yield this do statement. So let's make the growing happen first. So for this, it's really easy. We just go transform dot local scale. Again, what transform dot local scale does is we get the transform of the object and we get the local scale. So we're just getting the scale of the object. That's why we say transform dot local scale. And now we want to change our local scale. So what we have to say is equal to a new vector three. And here's where we do something cool. We say dot lerp. And basically what lerp does is it changes something from point A to point B in a certain amount of time. So this is perfect for us because we want to change our size from our start size to our max size in our grow time amount of time. So we'll just put that in here. So we want to say we want to go from our start size and that's actually kind of inconsistent so i'm going to rename this by pressing command r or control on pc i'm not sure i'm going to call it start scale 
because consistency is key. All right, so we want to go from our start scale to our max scale. And our max scale is our max size variable right here. And now we want to say how long we want this to take. So we're gonna put in our timer and we're gonna divide it by our grow time. Now let's close this off with a semicolon. Oh, and I'm actually, you're not supposed to say new here. It's just a vector three alert. <laughs> My bad. Anyways, what this does is it takes our timer and says, is it equal to grow time? And now it's going to consistently update our size based on how close our timer is to the grow time. So it'll just slowly grow. But right now our timer isn't even changing. We didn't do anything with our timer yet. So we'll do that right here. Increment timer. This is super simple. We'll just say timer plus equals time dot delta time. So basically what this does is it increases our timer by normal time. And then for our yield statement, we'll just say yield return null. Okay, cool. So that basically sums it up for growing our object. And now we need to say we're going to do this, all this, while a condition in here is not met yet. So we're going to say we're going to do this while timer is less than grow time. So this is all going to stop. It's going to stop growing once our timer is finally equal to our grow time. So it's going to go from one, two, three, four, so on, so on until it hits six seconds. And then I'm just going to go in here and say our Boolean is max size is equal to true. So we flip that on to true when our scale is equal to the max size. This way we can call this method by saying if our object is not max size yet. So this is where we're going to call this enumerator in our start method. So when we start the game, we're going to say if size equal to false. So if it's not max size, oh, let me get rid of that. So if it's not the max size, then we're going to want to start this coroutine. And to start a coroutine, all we need to do is start coroutine. We're going to put in our coroutine in here, an enumerator. So this is our coroutine that we want to put in. So we're going to feed this method into here. And all we're going to put in here is grow because that's what it's called. And that's all we have to do. So basically what this does is it checks if it is not the max size or if it's not done growing, then we're going to start the coroutine grow. So this is a very simple, small script. And this is actually all you need to do to get your object to grow. Let's go check it out. All right. So if we go into our flower where we added our script, we have our timer. We shouldn't mess with this. This grow time is how long you want it to take to grow to max size and this max size is basically a scale so if we hit start we should see this grow and indeed it does so when the timer hits the grow time so four five six it ticks on max size and as you can see the flower stopped growing and now it is max size and you can even go in here and say the max size should be, I don't know, let's be crazy and go five. And if we hit start, it's going to grow all the way up to five. Cool. And you can even change the how fast it grows. So if you want it to grow like super fast, you can just go ahead and do that. Boom, two seconds, it's max size. Anyways, I wanted to make a tutorial on this because I had a lot of trouble with this in the past. I couldn't really find a correct tutorial and I had to do a bunch of research, even though this code is just super simple. And I feel like sometimes people like to complicate code and it's not really even that complicated at all. This is really simple stuff and also a reminder be careful with do while loops because you might crash your computer if you do not put in this while statement correctly don't be too scared of it just make a backup just in case so just keep that in mind all right guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe to the channel and like this video it'll really help me out I'm starting off and I'm new and I'm trying to grow my channel. Any support would much be appreciated. Leave any suggestions you have in the comment section below or tell me if you have any errors with your script and I'll get back to you in a really short amount of time. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.